Well, Sly, it's great to see you again. You, you look it's great. Be it's place. been a while since uh, we last spoke. Uh, you're doing a new film now. In fact, I was talking to some of the other uh, crew members that you know were on set, and they were like, "Is that Sly?" And I said, "Yeah. Well, you know, he shaved his head. And is this for a shaved new film?" Head? Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. It's uh, it's a new look. My wife likes it. She's like, she says that it's like rubbing sandpaper when she's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no, funny yeah, so yeah. tell us a little bit about the uh, the role and uh, you know where the shaved head comes in and you know in fact I can't uh, what happened to your tattoos Sly well they cover them up it's uh, like a, it's like a new procedure that they have and it's, uh, it's amazing makeup? it's amazing it's, it's a flesh tone color they had to match it up with the color of my skin and as you can see, you can't see one tattoo. Yeah, it's it's a real Jennifer. Where are you? It's like <laughs> she's underneath my skin. Yeah, well, you know, it's a real <laughs> yeah. transformation uh, yeah. from you know most of your characters. You have a few different looks, and this is a completely new look. Well, what do you think? What do you think? I mean, you know, well, it's a little different. It's it? a little, di you know, it's something it's we have. It's still me. I'm underneath the the, the bald head. <laughs> yeah, well, it's something we haven't yeah. really seen from you. Well, it's just you know, like I said, I like to delve into different things now. You know. Uh, I'm doing a movie with Robert De Niro. Oh yeah, Rush now Match, are you and, uh, in uh, pre-production for that yet? Yes, as a matter of fact we are and um, I wanted to talk about also where uh, Arnold and I, we completed the tomb and uh, Arnold is really great to work with. Really how, how do you feel about the outcome of uh, the tomb? Do you think it's going to be a good picture? I'm very optimistic about it. I think it's going to be very good. Very good. All right. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, Grudge Match. And uh, you know, have you have you spoken to Robert De Niro yet? Have you guys uh, done any table reads or gone well, over the you know? Well, you know, I think that that's that's kind of on the on the DL right now. On the down low. Yes, yeah, on the down low. Uh, basically, my vision of like uh, of doing this movie Grudge Match was kind of like when Charles Bronson did Hard Times, and I don't know if you're familiar with that movie. Charles Bronson did a movie called Hard Times. Uh, back in 1974, where he played mm -hmm. a uh, he was a boxer, but it was this was at a time where uh, a lot of these fighters were fighting and making money, like underground fighting. Yeah. And he was sort of like a ringer, but nobody knew that, though. He was a really tough character. And he has this, uh, at the end, he has this fight with this guy who is at equal skill as him. And it really is, it's, it's, a, it's uh, I thought, it's, it's like one of my favorite movies all the time. I loved it. Now, do, do you think that this is uh, the right time for a film like this? Do you think that... Uh, general audiences are ready for uh, an older Sylvester Stallone and older Robert De Niro uh, in a film together. I really couldn't give a shit. <laughs> well, you know, you know, so I, know I know that's surprising to hear me say that because I'm really such a gentleman sometimes. But I'm gonna say what I feel. Everybody out there, they want to stamp a freaking age on you. I am ageless, pal. <laughs> well, I am ageless. And you proved that for the, that's uh, right. the last uh, from the last. You hear that, guys? I am ageless. Ah, uh, huh? look at that. What do you want to uh, to bring to newer audiences who may not be familiar with uh, Robert De Niro's older work and your older work as well? Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Watch the movie. Enjoy it. And that's it. <laughs> All right, Sly. Well, it's been it's been great speaking to you once again. My pleasure. I get out of my house. <laughs>